Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I still don't have an intro, so yes, this is the intro. Welcome back to a brand new video. How are you guys? I wanted to ask, are you enjoying the Unmasked series? Have you watched? If not, make sure to click the link in my description and go watch it. Episode one is now out. Episode two comes out this Sunday with Joey. If you guys don't know, it's a whole series where I take my own personality out of the house that I shared with Joey and I kind of redesign everything catered to him and his preferences and his style and it's a lot of fun I've been working on it for the past year I actually filmed it a year ago but here we are now I'm super excited to launch it alongside my Unmess My Nest series so it's kind of like season two but today is a bit of a sad day I am getting rid of Monty Okay, I'm not getting rid of her completely, but two and a half weeks is a very long time. Monty is leaving for training. I am running out of town for a little bit for work, and I really wanna get Monty trained to be a service animal in the future, so we're just getting a head start since I don't have the time during these pivotal puppy years to train her as I normally would. You guys know I've trained the Huskies in the pack, and I've just been around dogs my whole life, but I think it's really important during these first like few weeks of life that they get the best training. So they are going over to my friend Ella over at Paw Minded. She's an incredible trainer. She's helped train all of the Husky Pack and turn them into incredible animals. Even Storm. Storm can act up. Storm's actually looking at me right now. He can act up. He's a great dog. But before we say goodbye to sweet little Monty, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, which is Mercari. If you guys are not familiar with Mercari, it is an app kind of similar to where you can sell products and clothes, but they have everything from electronics to clothes to cameras to accessories, literally anything you want to buy. It's just lying around at home and you just want to get rid of it and make some money. All you have to do is list it, pack it, and ship it, and it's gone. I'm gonna include some screenshots here of how to actually sell the item, but it's super easy. Right now, I have a live marketplace, so let's go take a look at some of the items that I'm selling. Okay, like I said, you can sell literally anything on Mercari, so I have a bunch of these really cute flannels, so I have these two long sleeve ones, you guys have seen me wear these online and I have the short sleeve one, which I just actually wore in, I think I'm wearing it in an upcoming episode of Unmess My Ex. I have this little green striped, I wore this in Italy once. It's so cute, it's from Scotch and Soda. I have this guy, this silk, it kind of has like flowers on it. It's a button down. I got this from ASOS. I've never used this, it's just been sitting in my closet. And then I have this gorgeous suede jacket from Free People. It's actually women's, it's a large, I think, or an extra large, I'm not sure. Never wore it, never had the occasion. I was gonna bring this to Montana, but it's so adorable. I think it was like 150 bucks, but I'm obviously not gonna sell it for that much. So cute, with like a white tank underneath and some shorts. Maybe some Doc Martens, adorable. You guys know me and my electronics. Yes, you can get electronics on Mercari. I have this brand new DJI Mavic. All the info will be on the app and all of these will be for sale. I have never used this. I bought this randomly. My Sagittarius self just needed it when it came out and it's just been sitting, but it's super cute. I think it has literally has all the stickers on. It's brand new, just been sitting there. I have a couple Instax minis. I have some old vlogging cameras that these aren't old. This technology is still great. This is the Canon M50. This one is the G7X, which actually was one of my, not my first, but I think that's like two years old. And I think this is another M50. This is an M6. It's missing this little spin wheel. So obviously it'll be discounted, but it also comes with this lens. And they even have pet supplies. So I'm selling this bed with this dog leash. This is from Wild One. Monty, I just actually don't like this material. I prefer a thinner material because Monty's so small and it really weighs her down. But this is great for a bigger dog. It's up to 80 pounds. This is her first harness that she grew out of very quickly. This is, it's a size small, so it's good for a puppy. I'd say like up to 20 or 30 pounds, but it is expandable and then there is a collar as well. So yeah, you can get this whole set on the app. And of course, everything that I ship will be coming with a little custom cute note from me to you. So yeah, if you guys want to learn more and want to shop everything that you just saw and more, I think I'm going to be uploading more from now on. I think it's kind of fun. It's a good, safe way to kind of sell and for you guys to get a great deal on stuff. So click the link down below in my description and uh, yeah, I'll see you on there. Happy shopping. All right, pretty girl, you're leaving me. You're leaving me for a couple weeks. You're going to training. Hit, hit, hit. Down. You're not gonna be doing that when you get back. Auntie, sit, sit. Monty, sit. Come on, you know, sit. Monty. Good girl. Okay. She's like, no, Dad. What's going on? What's going on, Papa? Okay, she's gone. I'm already depressed. I'm ready for her to come back now. Okay. 
So to make myself feel better, I had one of my friends put together some outfits for me. I've been really wanting to change up my style and since I'm getting rid and purging a lot of stuff from my closet, I decided why not try to switch my style a little bit. I feel like I've gotten super comfortable, you know, when I was in a relationship and now that I'm single, I'm like, I don't have to wear sports clothes all the time. What do you mean? Like we're in a pandemic. I, like, I feel like I can just wear shorts and a t-shirt all the time. Storm is playing with the toy right now and he's driving me nuts. But he's a good boy. So let me go throw on a few outfits for you guys. Okay, first look. It's giving you 70s day at the beach. The pants are high. The pants are very high. I would never wear something like this, but they are very like 60s. Hold on. Whoa. My ass is so fat. <laughs> the polo is mine. The polo is from Boss. The pants, I'm not sure where they're from, but can you see the shoes? The shoes are like these really cute corduroy shoes. I like it. I think it's super cute. What do you guys think? Can I pull it off? I think I can pull it off. I feel like this is something I would wear. The glasses are really cool too. Can you see them? They're like yellow tinted. I'm feeling it. I feel like I would open this up a little more. I'm ready. Look at the bicep. The bicep's popping right here. It's fashion. Look it up, sweetie. All right, look number two. Okay, look number two. This is a very me look, except I've never worn like a cardigan before. It's super cute. I did, this is my own bag. It's like a little crossbody bag, but I've never really used it seriously. I love the glasses. They're adorable. So there's this like vintage band tee. And then here's the kicker. I've never worn light wash denim ever. Let me show you the full fit. I've just never worn it because I can't find can't find the length for me. I'm tall, I'm 6'3", so I needed a 34 long, and I have a snatch waist now, um, so I'm no longer like a 34 waist, I'm a 30 waist, which is stunning. I always teetered between a 32 waist and a 34, but the depression lifted, girl, and we are stunning and snatched and ready for summer, but it's cute. Let me give you a little twirl. It's so cute. Also, I'm wearing Birkenstocks, which I never thought I would wear because I always thought Birkenstocks were not cute, but they are really cute and they're really comfortable. So I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these all the time. This is an outfit I would wear like if I was going on errands. That's Storm, that's that, that Storm, that's that bark. Yeah, I would wear this outfit, running errands, getting lunch, meeting up with a friend that I don't have. Let's see what uh, look number three has to offer. All right, last and final look, the jacket is mine. This is denim on denim, but done a little differently. I feel like this would be like a date night, kind of chill, hang out with friends, maybe go to a little party or event or something. So it's black denim jeans. I'm gonna give you the full effect. It's kind of a moment, right? So the shoes, I'll show you the shoes. Cute, they kind of match the jacket. They're these two-tone like van style. Denim shirt, black denim pants. I don't know how I feel about denim on denim, but I feel like this, like I would wear this to a date and also it's athletic so I could also run from the date if it goes really badly, you know what I mean? Like, hi waiter, can I get the check by? Kind of like that, it's kind of cute, it's kind of fresh. I like it, I would need to like pop the collar though. Let's see how it looks without this. It's cute. Who, me? You wanna go on a date with me? <laughs> okay, sure. That was kind of cute. I would wear all three of those outfits. Let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favorite, and uh, maybe I'll post a picture of the gram later, I'm not sure. But I kind of want to do a full video, like really exploring style, because these were all like kind of masculine, traditional, like manly looks, if you will. But I've always wanted to get more into just like open, like style. I love style, I always have loved fashion since I was a kid, but I feel like I've always been held down because, I don't know, maybe my family, but I'm always down to get a little crazy. I'd wear a dress, I'd wear a kilt. I don't know, I think that would be a fun video or like a fun series, like having like a bunch of different stylists style me or having like you guys pick outfits for me. I think I'm on to something. All right guys, it is two and a half weeks later and Monty is back from my friend Ella's at Paw Minded. Oh my gosh, let's go see all the things that she learned. I'm so excited. My little baby, I know she's grown so much. I've been getting pictures and videos. <gasps> My heart, be still my heart. Look who's here. Uh, no jumping. No jumping. No jumping, good Hi, baby. Good, good, good girl. girl. Oh my gosh, she's so big and so pretty. Look at those teeth. They're all in you. I know. <laughs> all right, let me, let's see what you learn. Good, down. So we only say the command once, and you know, I mean, we, we've talked yeah. about this, super important. 
and before we give a command, we want to make sure she looks at us. That's the most important thing. Okay. So I will get her attention. Monty. Good girl. Sit. Good sit. Monty. Down. Yay, good down. Good down. Good girl. Monty, all done. And leave it. She's thinking, good girl. All done. Good girl. Good girl. Just a little tiny thing, you know? Yeah. Next time we'll put it on your nose. Oh, you got a little scratch. Yeah, she came like Aww. that from, from daycare, but it will, it will yeah. fade. Good girl. So you can shape, pick like each side. So I'm right-handed, usually I have on my right. Monty, let's go. And this is all I'm doing. This is where she naturally falls to. And when I okay. step, she sits. Automatically. Okay. She's like, wait, I'm home now. <laughs> let's go. Good girl. Good girl. Stuffing. Good girl. Good morning, little girl. You guys, it's the next day and we're going to the beach and we have Monty's favorite little or, little orange. She loves oranges. How cute she is. We're in Malibu, baby girl. We're going to the beach. You better love it because I love it. And you're going to be my little ocean dog. Oh, is that my little beach bum? What do you think, mama? You're at the ocean. Uh-oh, she sees a little friend. Little fringe. What do you think? <laughs> She's nervous. She's just sitting watching the waves. Oh, come here. Nervy girl. Oh, she met a horse. <laughs> Good girl. Monty, what do you think? What do you think, Monty? Come here, can you sit? Show everybody how you sit. Monty, down. Good girl. Good girl. You guys, she is the best. She's such a great dog. I really lucked out with her. Oh, it's so early, but it's like the sun is already out. Summer is here, girlies. Yeah, she's really just, she's so sweet. She's sweet, she's very gentle. She's not overpowering. She doesn't like annoy Storm or Lark. She loves other dogs, but she's not a psycho with them, which is great. She just likes to sit and watch and observe. Oh! All right, we're gonna try walking closer to the water because I really do want her to like the water because I love, you know, the beach and surfing so much. So come on, let's inch, inch our way over. Oh, they will get you wet. You know what? I need to put my feet in and make you more comfortable, I think. That's salty, sweetie. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the water, trying to coax her in a little bit, but I think the waves really freak her out. <laughs> All right, paws are wet. I know she likes to be wet, so she loves the pose. It's okay. Oh my God, that just got my jeans wet. Come on, good girl. All right, we're trying this. This seems to be working, giving the treat while the waves are coming up so she's not too afraid. <laughs> Good girl. Monty, sit. Good girl. It's okay. You don't need to run. It's okay. It's okay. Guys, this girl is a little angel. She's just tucked next to me. I know it's gonna change because she is probably a little nervous, but she is so good. And unlike any other dog I've had, Ella, thank you so much. Ella, Paul Mind did such an amazing job. And Honestly, it's her spirit too, of course. She's just like a really sweet dog. Good girl. You gonna be my little beach buddy? Huh? Yeah. Oh my God. She like knows that I need this extra love, especially today. Also, why is this woman so fierce? That's just like the woman I wanna be one day. Work, work, work. Look at the arms, yes. Feel it. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. <laughs> hey, be nice to Monty. That's your sister. Puppies are playing. They just had breakfast. I'm heading over to my ex's house right now because I'm filming the intros, outros, and some new images for an episode of the new Unmess series coming out in a few weeks. I have one coming out on Sunday, like I mentioned before, but every Sunday here on my channel. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here, for being a part of this little fam on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm, I wanna do that video about fashion and 
clothing. I think that would be kind of cool. But yeah, if you guys, if there's anything in particular that you guys are wanting to see from me other than the home design, I was thinking of starting a cooking series, maybe on Instagram and on here, I'm not sure. But I feel like I'm just coming into my own and I'm, I don't know, I'm excited to have fun with you guys and like, and actually enjoy what I do and not feel forced. Cause when I feel forced, that's when I don't upload. Just so you know, but I do want to get on a schedule. So having the every Sunday and then I'm thinking like Tuesday or Thursday, I'd love to do three times a week. That to me would be chef's kiss. But um, until then, I will see you Sunday with a brand new video. All right, I love you so much, bye. Wait, that wasn't even my outro. I love you so much, I still don't have an outro, so this is the outro, bye.